So right now we're on our pages, right? Let's click the top left corner where it says home. It's going to bring us back to pages, design, commerce, analytics, settings. Go to settings. This brings up all your different settings on your website. There's a lot here that I'm not going to cover. Um, please dive in and check these out. I'll cover these in a more advanced video. But one of the most common things is this right here, connected accounts. So under settings, not general, but website, connected accounts, you click that. That brings up your social media uh, station. Click to connect account. And that brings up all these different social media platforms that you can add. I'm going to add the most popular, which is Facebook. I'm already logged into Facebook, so it's going to log me in already. Um, have my password saved. Right? It's ready to go. That's it. That's all you do. It's pretty amazing how simple it is. Um, some people have like a Facebook page for their business. I definitely do I have a couple. Um, you can link just a Facebook page, but you have to connect it to a personal account. So even though my personal account is connected right now, it's going to push to my business page. Um, you also have to replace this profile URL. Otherwise, it's still going to go to this. Um, so I'm going to go to my business page, copy and paste the URL into here. Some people don't know why they they push it to this, but for some reason it still goes to their personal page. It's because of this. So fix that. Um, and yeah, this is going to be important down the road when I want to connect my blog. I can actually post to Facebook, to Tumblr, to um, LinkedIn from my blog, from my event pages, all within one click if this stuff is connected, right? Let's add one more. Let's add Instagram. That's not the right one. If I remember my password, Twitter. I'm not a big Twitter user, um, but it's important. And I should probably use it more. It's right here. Uh, but I know a lot of my clients and a lot of uh, people I talk to are Twitter users, and so they wanted to know how to add their Twitter feed as well as their Instagram feed. So it brings up all these options. You can show the social icon. Uh, let's add it first before we mess with any of this so you can see what it looks like. So if you're not already logged in, you would click connect account, you click Twitter, it would bring up the Twitter uh, the Twitter window and you would add your login information. Go back to settings. Now I'm going to, um, well, first I'm going to add the social buttons. Now that I have all three of those set up that I wanted, I'm going to add the social button, buttons to the footer and complete my footer out. See what it looks like over here. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to make. So I'm going to write some text in here. I'm going to say, let's be friends. Cool. Center that up. We're going to change that to an H3, right? H3 uh, looks like this. For some reason, the H3 in this template is larger than the H2, but we can change that easily. And we're going to get to that in the design portion. But right now I'm going to add, so below the text is our social blocks. I'm going to click that teardrop icon. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Under social blocks, you see social links. I click that, and it brings up our social links. Can't see them, so let's add some color to it real quick. These are your options. First, I'm going to go with color. I'm going to go light. You could choose the standard color. That shows the actual colors from the programs themselves. For the social media accounts themselves, I'm going to go with light, so it sticks with that black and white color scheme. But I can change. Um, I can change everything. I can change the size of it. Right now, it's extra small. We got small, medium, large, and extra large. Let's stick with that so you can see it nicely on the screen. And then the style. We can make it a circle. We can make it a square, or we can make it a rounded square. And then we can also choose to make it either the, the same three selections with a solid background, with a border, uh, or with a knockout, which basically pulls the color from the background. Right now it's black, so it's going to look the same no matter what. Uh, let's change it to regular. Let's keep it like it is over here. And then, yeah, you can change the alignment to left or center or right. Mine is centered, so I will keep it centered. 
Let's apply that change and click Save. 